In every hosting tutorial, or probably any hosting video, I keep blabbering on about how easy it is to use Hostinger. And it really is, but Hostinger HPanel is unique. So to make sure you know how to use it to its full potential without wasting any time, I'm here to show you the way. And hey, full potential doesn't mean full price though. So if you don't have hosting yet, grab my discount by scanning this QR code or by clicking the link in the description. All right, when you log in and access HPanel hosting, it hits you with a dashboard that doesn't look like it time traveled from 2003. And unlike cPanel, it looks clean and modern, even though there are plenty of explanations. Something that I really like about hosting a HPanel is the widgets. They are actually genuinely helpful. These little info blocks show you things like server status, resource usage, and recent updates. I don't know of any other web hosting provider that does it like this. Most panels make you dig around like you're on a scavenger hunt for basic info. Hosting a HPanel though just gives you what you need when you need it. To be honest, I don't know if that's because I got used to it so much or it's like that for everyone, but it always shows me the right stuff. And if not, it's a click or two away. All right, let's pop the hood and take a closer look at hosting your controls. Your next stop is that menu on the left. Click on the hosting section and there are all your websites listed. From there, you can jump into any site and mess with the essentials like file manager, database, backups, and all the behind the scenes stuff. Next up is the email section where you can whip up professional email addresses that make you look like you totally have your life together. Then there's the domains tab. Here you can register shiny new domains, bring over old ones from other providers or tinker with DNS settings, if you're into that sort of thing. If not, or just not yet, no shame, you can always get to it later. The Websites tab helps you build and manage sites quickly, and if you've got VPS hosting, the VPS and servers area is where the more advanced stuff lives. You'll also notice tools like SSL management to keep your site secure, and then billing, referrals, and the store for account stuff and grabbing extras. Some parts of the menu, like the DNS zone editor, cron jobs, or PHP settings might look a little intimidating if you're new to all this, but don't worry, you can totally ignore them for now. You don't need them until you're ready to get fancy with custom setups. If you're using WordPress, which is still the most popular platform, you're gonna appreciate how smoothly Hostinger ties it into their HPanel. There's a dedicated WordPress section where everything you need is right there. One standout is the staging feature. It lets you clone your live site so that you can test changes without messing anything up. Super handy if you like experimenting without stress. Hostinger makes a copy of your site while your main site stays reachable to all users. And once you test changes out on that clone site, you can merge the upgrades without ever taking your site down. You can also manage updates, themes, plugins, and WordPress core all from one spot. So no more flipping between tabs or dashboards. Oh, and there's light speed caching built in, which basically means your site loads faster with almost zero effort from you. Scroll down a bit and you'll find some practical tools too. If you need to delete a site, it only takes a few clicks. Just double check before confirming because once it's gone, you know, it's gone. You can also share account access with teammates or devs without giving up your login details. Super useful for collaborations. In your profile settings, you'll find security options like two-factor authentication to keep things locked down, plus all the usual stuff like language, account info, and personal preferences. And if you ever need help, hosting a support is built right in. Just hit the help icon or head to the support section. You'll land in Kodi, the AI-supported assistant who can walk you through most issues. It's a natural language bot, so it will perfectly understand you even if you don't know technical terms. But if you need a real human, just type talk to human and you'll get connected. Okay, next let's answer some of the most burning and practical questions about hosting a hosting that you might look for. Question numero uno, how to host multiple websites? Easy, go to the hosting section in HPanel, click add website, enter your domain and login details, and yeah, you've got another site under the same hosting plan. You can repeat this for as many sites as your plan allows. Question numero, you know what, let's count in English actually. So that would be question number two. How to restore a backup? Simple. Head to the dashboard of the website that you want to restore. Scroll to the backups tool, pick the date you want and click restore. You can restore files, databases, or both. It's all automatic, just a few clicks and you're back in time. Question number three, how to get a refund? Ooh, spicy one, right? Nah, not with hosting. You don't have to call them or phone or jump through a million hoops to get your money back. Instead, just go to your profile, 
then payment history, find the product you want a refund for, hit request refund. Introverts paradise. If you're within the 30 day money back guarantee window, hosting a processes it pretty quickly. Next question, how to create and delete databases. Inside your website's H panel, go to databases, then MySQL. To create one, just enter a name, username and password, boom, done. To delete, scroll down to your existing databases, hit the trash icon and confirm. Yeah, that's it. We can go on with the next question, which is how to install a different CMS. Well, this one's gonna be a hard one. <laughs> Just kidding. There's this auto installer tool in your website's dashboard. You'll see WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, and other CMSs listed. Click the one you want, fill in the setup details, and install. Literally takes under a minute. All right, question number, I forgot. Anyway, the question is how to transfer a website. In your site's dashboard, go to migrate website, fill in the source details like FTP login from your old host and let hosting handle the rest. And if your site is built with WordPress or Joomla, it's even easier. You just need to provide admin login details and hosting will transfer it for you. It's automatic, totally free. Now, I can't cover all possible questions on how to use hosting, so let's not drag it on any longer. But if you do have some questions that you uh, need to get answered, you can always drop them in the comments or just let me know what I should cover next. Or maybe just let me know how your day was, right? <laughs> all right, well, let's wrap up this HPanel tutorial. Reminder that if you still don't have hosting, you can grab my best deal from the description. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and you know, just continue being a decent person. Until next time, peace.